subscribe to the Danny Houston podcast, man. Man, okay, wait, wait, wait. But coming to the South Side, though, talk about when you start coming yeah, to see, the South Side. Yeah, see, I'm letting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but the South Side, that shit, that was like Dreyfus. Like back then, you know what I'm saying? Going, coming to Dreyfus. We used to ride out here, just dry ass ride when it was boomerang. You know what I'm saying? It was boomerang. We used to dry ass ride out here, just dry. We come out here and uh, we used to go to boomerang. We used to pass by Boomerang, see how Boomerang was, but the hottest star in the still another cause was the, the Astrodome. With the cranking up contests and shit like that. When motherfuckers couldn't get in the cranking up contest and shit like that. But that's when we seen a lot of cars. We know see, a lot of cars used to be at at the at the, at the at the Astrodome. The crank it up contest, what's that? You know, like the, when back in the game, like when they had the crank it up kid the slab contest. Oh, it was like car show, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, Yeah, the car show. Yeah, yeah. That's when it was the Astrodome, mm -hmm. the Baby Dome and the Astrodome. Mm -hmm. And the, the Baby Dome, they used to go to the Baby Dome for the car show. You know, the Astrodome too goddamn big for the but the car show. And the cars we used to see, they if they didn't make it in, they used to come in the Astrodome. So it's like before they even get in that hole, it's like you pay eight dollars to get in. Hey, Candyland. <laughs> it Candyland. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because everything that, that's why I say I didn't know. We didn't know. I ain't going to say I didn't know. We didn't know who calls we was taking. But anybody, it's not our car. It's not from the other side of town. So it's like anything that was older going to move. And it got four wheels. It got there. Y'all got the car. It's gone. So when so when y'all start, y'all come to the south, y'all start stealing. How are you feeling when y'all start, when you start getting out on the screw tapes about them saying like north side? Oh, when I start them. hearing this shit, that shit was crazy. Because I really didn't catch it. I didn't catch on to it because it was so many. The great tapes, I seen the great tapes all day, you know, because back then, like when Stick One was talking about the wood grain remote control, it was like, you know, everybody called. When we had, it was like the cars was plentiful. We was still getting calls, 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 calls. We didn't know what fucking cars it was. It was just cars, but it was elbows, you know what I'm saying? And like how I was, I had so many elbows at the time because when I get them, I break them down and keep mine, you know what I'm saying? But it's like the people that rolled with me, the people that went with me, it's like when you go, it's like, hey, you get this, I'm going to get this. The next time you get this, I get this. You know what I'm saying? That's how it was supposed to be. But with David Glenn, it was different. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, that's him. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're going to get what you're going to get. But at the same time, it's like he the muscle. It's like I ain't saying he the muscle like that, but it's like how he rolled. Okay. So 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 what's the difference between you, your style, David Glenn style, and Yogi style, if you had to say? Because David well, Glenn was more the muscle. You know what I'm saying? When I say about, when I say about the muscle, it's like David Glenn, David Glenn, David Glenn. It's like you can't tell him, I ain't gonna say you can't tell him shit, but he's like, he was aggressive. He, he, yeah, he's straight to the point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we you, you fuck with him, y'all locked in. If you don't fuck with him, you feel any kind of flaw with him, you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, y'all for the fight, whatever, your whole ass nigga, whatever they did, fighting, y'all cool. If y'all fighting, y'all win or whatever, just y'all cool. You a hoe, he gonna call it out. Nigga, you get your bitch ass on, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, with me and him, it was, we were so cool to where like we just ah, what's up? What do 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 do? You know what I'm saying? Yoga, the yoga passed. Yoga, it was 18 when he got killed. You know what I'm saying? But it was like all of us was together. It was just us three, and then we just picked. You know, I ain't gonna say we picked. It was like whoever was around the hood, just ride, just go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah yoga, was, yoga was that quiet. See, I was young. Was a damn fool. He and all that that's shit. It was because everything I got, everything I got, it's like the calls I used to get. I didn't never. Long story short, I ain't pay for nothing. Like a car, I ain't never bought no car. I ain't never bought no slab. Cause everybody wanted wheels. So a nigga built his whole car. Nigga over here buy marble paint, this and that, this and that. Say, have you got some wheels? Yeah, nigga, I got some wheels. Man, uh, 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 man, when I get paid, this man, nigga, that whole Marvel, nigga, what you want for that hoe? Man, I got the wheel. Man, look here, I give you two sets of wheel, but that's how I bought the cars. So I never, I ain't never rode no hood caps, period. Hmm. It was always, I always had a car. It was always, it was, slab, always, it was always a slab. Any kind of car I bought was, it was wheels on it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but like David Glenn built cars, Yogi built cars before he got killed. You know what I'm saying? But I never. Got into it. When, when, uh, talk about, cause were you ever coming out here to, like, did you ever see, like, Stick or Corey Blunt or any of these guys? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't actually, and actually, I didn't, I didn't, I used to see their car, cause everybody car was different. But when niggas popping trunk and all this shit, that shit used to throw me off, man. I was like, what the fuck? That shit go to dance, and I was like, what the fuck? I want one of them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? I want one, you know what I'm saying? But I had shit over there already, but it's like, 
who is them? You know what I'm saying? It's like for us to, a person to get caught slipping, it's like how I rode. It's like like I was paying attention to, like I, I listen to, I look at a lot of your interviews, but the interview that kind of stuck with me was Stick Once the interview. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know them people. You know what I'm saying? That's like I say with, with KK and Dez. Because uh, you, you were going, I think you were telling me how you were going to get one of Dez's cars or something? No, I was locked up. I was locked up with Dez. You locked up with Dez, okay. Okay, I was locked up with Dez. And we was, we was in we was in the field. We was in Three Rivers. And we was in the barber shop. And I had a partner named uh, Skilly Lear. You know, they had time, Skilly Lear. We was in the barber shop. And over here, on the south, they had a guy named Brock, Brock and Pop. Yeah, 3 4 action, yeah. Okay, Brock. I met Brock. I ain't met Pop because Pop had got transferred. I think his name was Pop. Pop. He had got transferred. Pop, yeah. Pop, yeah, he got transferred to Oakdale when I got there. But uh, when I got in the yard, it was Brock, Pop, the people that I remember, that I remember, remember, because I got transferred, because, you know, I got shot, like I got transferred. But uh, it was Brock, Pop, well, Brock, I ain't, know, I ain't met Pop, but Brock, uh, Pig, uh, Keith Bavin, you know what I'm saying? These people that I remember, you know what I'm saying, that when I went to the barber shop, I never forget when I went to the barber shop, I went to the barber shop, and uh, Skilly Lil was crunk. He was crunk, man. Chris Lil was crunk. Man, come on, get your haircut. Get your haircut. I'm like, man, we got haircut. We want them over get a haircut. And we sitting there. And Dez was in there. Dez talking shit. He talking. Shit. I love Dez. Dez was crappy crunk. Man, what's up, baby? Ooh, Dez just flies, motherfucker. So Dez was uh, talking to him. You know, like I say, you know, we in prison. So it was a day that we had went to the barber shop, and uh, I think I don't know who brought that picture book. Somebody brought a picture book. I think it probably been Brock, cause Brock used to cut hair in the barber shop, and. Uh, he brought that picture book, and he brought that picture book. It was a day, it was a Saturday. I remember it was a Saturday, because it was like, everybody could get the haircuts and shit. And it was like, open, the yard open. So we went up to the barber shop, and uh, they had that picture book in there. And Skilly Lil was sitting there. Skilly Lil had like 30-something years, but Skilly Lil OG, you know what I'm saying, from Harding. And uh, he was like, man, this little ass right here, man. I'm like, damn, man, I'm not think my name. You know, I'm sitting there tripping. And, and uh, I don't know if KK went there. I don't think KK was there, though. But anyway, they passed his picture book around. So they passed the picture book around. And I had picture books from my little pocket, my homeboy, Joe Third, and everybody sent me pictures. But my picture book was weak compared to theirs. You know what I'm saying? So when they started sending the picture book around, I'm looking at the picture book. And, and Skid Lee was like, they passed the picture books around. They talking about, they in the Brock, them talking about slab and all this shit there, this and they coming down, this and that. And I'm sitting there, little bit, I'm a little bit of a motherfucker. I probably weighed about, about 130. You know what I'm saying? The boy, big boys. I'm sitting there looking at them, looking at them. All the brown, that was short, starched up, I'm looking. The book came around. And Skilly Lee was sitting outside me say, Ab, what you see though? That's what I love about Skilly Lee. Skilly Lee, what, what you see? What you see that you knocked down? It was funny how you said this shit. I'm looking at the book. Ab, we flipping the book. I'm looking, I'm pointing cars out. But I ain't saying that. I'm talking to Skilly. I'm like, Skilly Lee looking at me. I'm like, yeah, we knocked it. We got that. We got that. We got that. We got that. So it came to the book. It came to Dez. Dez had a, Dez had a, Dez had a, a black, he had a black, he had a black uh, Suburban with a wood grain strip on the side of his blaze on it. And I seen that truck, when I seen the truck, Dez was standing up, he was standing up over me. And he was like, looking at the truck. And I was like, I pointed at the book Dez was like, Dez said, man, you seen, man, you know about that truck? I said, man, hey, yeah, I remember that truck, you know what I'm saying? Like, Dez, I did, like, so I tripped on Dez, because Dez was like, man, you know that truck? I said, man, that's when I started talking. They was like, man, you know about the truck? I said, man, because they truck on the album cover. It's on the Body Boys album cover. I said, Dad, man, I say, I said, that's your truck? He was like, yeah, man, that was my truck. I said, man, check this out. I say, it was me and my homeboy named Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy Randy. We was in the Suburban. We was in Carrington's. And we were riding, we were riding down, uh, Karen, we was riding down the, uh, what that is, what Karen's is that, uh, OST? South Main. South Main, okay, we riding on South Main. And it was a, it was a, uh, a motel over there. I forgot the name of the motel, but it's like a, one of them high dollar ass motels. And uh, Dez, they, the, the long story short, the suburb was parked in the, in the, in the, in the, in the style or whatever. And uh, I climbed up on the suburb, I was gonna fight the motherfucker up. I climbed up on it and I hooked up the gear linkage. You know, and when I'm fucking with the, I uh, cut the lawn off already. And I was up under the truck, the motherfucker, it was Dez's truck, the motherfucker was on the ground, I was up under that motherfucker, Johnny Boy and Randy, I think his brother was in the truck, Sam, and uh, I'm in that motherfucker, I'm up under, I'm up under Dez's truck, we was in the suburban parked on the side of Dez's truck, 
And I'm finding the motherfucking truck. I unhooked the gig linkage. I, unhook, I already shut the alarm down. So I unhooked the gig linkage. So, you know, the truck for the road, you know, for the grid to push the truck off because we couldn't crank the motherfucker. We were going to push it and drop the motherfucker. And uh, so motherfucker come running out the goddamn, around the corner from the goddamn motel. That was in the motel. I know he know what I'm talking about. He ran, because he remember, he fucked me up. I fucked him up. He ran around the corner, nigga ran. I never forget because he had some black socks on, some black Nike socks on. I was laying up under the truck. And when he came up on the truck, I thought the truck, I thought he was gonna get in the truck and crank the truck up. So when he stuck his key in the goddamn door, I grabbed that nigga leg. I grabbed that nigga leg, then nigga shot out. When I said that shit to Dez, that nigga Dez was in the barber shop. We was in the barber shop and, and the nigga bust out the barber shop. Man, hold up, man, hold up, man. You know that's Dez. Dez, be drunk. Dez, Dez, yeah. Dez, he say, man, he ran out the barber shop. I was like, yeah, nigga. I was up under your truck. That nigga was like, damn, man. Ever since then, me and Dez, I fuck with Dez. You know what I'm saying? Dez was like, man, man, you a motherfucker, dog. Woo, woo. And that's when it came to. I was like, dog, whatever y'all niggas, y'all niggas hustle, nigga. We stole cars, nigga. That was my hustle. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I got out. I didn't know who the fuck y'all was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know who KK was. KK was cool, quiet, the motherfucker. But KK was cool, the motherfucker, when I was down there. You know what I'm saying? KK, KK, you know what I'm saying? When I got out, dead in, dead in, KK, dead in, fuck it, dead in, you know what I'm saying? But it's KK, look KK on the picture. I'm like, what the fuck? Then I started seeing him, like, I ain't never seen him since he been on, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's KK, you know what I'm saying? How y'all cross paths up when y'all locked up? In the, we was in the unit together. Yeah. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.